All right, greenhouse updates and things. So, brought these outside. It's in the afternoon now. The uh, shade on the side of the house. It's still 90 some odd degrees out here, but Coscabella peppers. What were these? Wisconsin SMR cucumbers. There's a Divas. Only one of the two sets grew. Some of the seeds on these peppers didn't germinate. Actually, that seed pushed its way out of that rock wall, so that was really weird. A um, couple Space Masters, and the roots are just barely starting to stick out the bottom on some of these. Um, pepperoncinis, banana peppers, obviously, you know, you can read what they are, but almost ready to try to transplant, but it's been 100 plus all week. Um, supposed to be mid 80s this coming week so hopefully I can get a couple of these um, either in the totes or possibly in the five gallon bucket that plant is still alive and growing not the greatest but we'll see what happens and just want the, the pepper plants to get a little bit bigger so I can get them in a couple buckets and get them in the greenhouse. Um, and then after I do the greenhouse update, gonna do a uh, a little uh, pick out in the, uh, the outside stuff. But the biggest cool thing this week for the greenhouse is last three days, these just started changing color. So I'm gonna have grape tomatoes coming out of my ears. Now, the, like I said before, these Juliet grape tomatoes, they're huge. They're the size of a small Roma. Not all of them, but anyways, but you can see that one. So anyways, give it a couple days, three, four days, and that'll be ready to pick and eat. And, you know, not much has changed uh, from that perspective on this side of the jungle. Yeah, I need to do some cleaning up again. You know, things grow, they fall out here, out way past the middle, and it's just like, you know, running around things. I sprayed for bugs a couple days ago. I still have aphids. Um, they're not terrible, but they haven't gone away, so I got to spray again. Um, it's been too hot to buy ladybugs at the, uh, the nursery. They don't ship ladybugs to the stores when it's this hot, so hopefully next weekend um, I can pick up ladybugs. These are supposed to be Big Bertha peppers, where these are not the short fat ones like you see in the grocery stores. They're more um, large and long, but these are not long, so I'm wondering if they got these uh, mixed up. Um, here, let's do a little zoom in. You can see the aphids starting to, uh, you know, get a little heavy on these. So, when you see them like this, you need to spray. If not, in a couple of days, there's going to be, you know, thousands of them, you know, all over the, the various plants. So, um, cherry tomatoes doing her thing. Clusters popping up all over the place, and it just keeps, you know, this is the center, and it just keeps going out wider and wider. I try to keep it trimmed back, but there's only so much I can do without uh, chopping down the plants because they kind of lean. If I could, the next greenhouse would be about four or five feet taller, so I can string these things up straight instead of having them lean, but it is what it is um, at the moment. Um, these are not small cherry tomatoes, these are large cherry tomato plants, so they're going to be, you know, fairly good size, a little bigger than that. So, we'll see what happens. Just, you know, let the plants do their thing. It's hot in here. Like I've shown before, they get crispy at the top. But, I mean, it's well supported between the clip on this one. You know, let's zoom out a little bit. And then it's just pushing straight up into the uh, into the top. These pepper plants are starting to hit their stride. I've got to get some more um, structure in here with some more strings. It's kind of hard when they're scrawny. The uh, the clips kind of slide up and down, um, and doesn't give a lot of support. Um, 
I also think this lunchbox pepper is mislabeled because although these are small peppers, they're not, and these are bigger than what I would think a lunchbox should be, but whatever, just letting them grow and do their thing. Biggest thing, let me see if I can zoom in and where it actually makes sense. Um, no, that's just too far. There's just tons of tomatoes um, on the plant, so they're looking good. Just trying to make sure that they uh, continue to get nutrient and the lines aren't plugged. I haven't fixed all the lines, but I've swapped out a, a couple of lines you know, every week. So, But everything up here looks healthy. It's not dry. It's not wilty. So, But basically, I make a habit every morning coming in and uh, give every bucket a wiggle, make sure it's not empty. And then take a look at the tops of the plants and see if they're wilty or not. Um, I've got to get in with the J hooks. Um, they come in the other day. Haven't got had a chance to get in here, but you know you can see the size of these tomatoes. They are baseball size, not softball, but baseball. Um, need to get a couple of these J hooks in and try to get some support. I've got one here towards the end that I put in as I was testing out the other day, but yeah. You know, good sized tomatoes um, hopefully we'll get them to ripen um, where's that j-hook it's hiding in here so basically you just have a big hook at the top you clip it to uh, a bigger branch or support and then you hook it around where the tomato is and just kind of distribute that weight a little bit so that's all we've got going on on the inside but uh, you know, the jungle's doing its thing. So the outside surprise, so we're gonna go and uh, let's take the back road here. The Chinese long bean actually did have a surviving plant or two. Um, I'm gonna say two. So, these are growing. They still have got some growing to do. I mean, here's the blossom end off of that still. And there's a couple little peewee ones, you know, doing their thing. It's not going to do a lot. There's, you know, there's only two plants, but... So... You gotta look at the size of these things. There's a reason why they call them yard beans. So, what we're going to do... Try to do this one-handed. Looks more like a snake, right? And the other ones are not big enough, so just for a haha -ha moment, take the back road here. I got a tape measure set up. I'm just curious to see. Let's see, let's zoom out. Let's see how long these darn beans are. Pulled it straight, we'll call it 27. Let's see what this one is. Maybe an inch shorter. Yeah, so 26, 27 inches. So there you go. Um, it's only two beans, but uh, you break it up, right? So you got a Fifty-three inches of bean. That's it for this week.